A weather history today concerns space weather. On this date in 1870, we had very bright aurora, very bright northern lights, and this was noted to be especially bright at Rensselaer. We had a tremendous solar storm, and these are said to be the brightest northern lights in our viewing area since 1859. Now, our 80s have ended. We don't have uh, any of this hot weather for at least several days. We had eight consecutive days in the 80s in our viewing area, going back to May 14th. Our high yesterday was 75, only 63 today. That is the longest stretch of 80s in May since 2010. And before that, you had to go back to 1998 to find eight days consecutively that warm in May. Today, it's cool, but the back edge of the low gray gloomy clouds is in northern Illinois. This is moving southward, so we're going to clear up with time this evening. We have one last little straggler of a shower in our far northeast counties. A few of these will clip through Fulton and Miami counties this evening, perhaps Cass, and otherwise it'll be a dry night as we drop well down into the 40s, perhaps some places upper 30s in our north. Check out those temperatures this evening, dropping to 45 by midnight and 40 degrees by 6 a.m. But this warm front is a big player in our weather. For one thing, the hot air with it is going to head our way, and eventually some of this really dry air from the deserts will kind of move over us and cap our atmosphere and give us several mostly sunny days next week. It does look like the hottest air of the season, but the bad thing is as the warm front goes through and as it speeds up a little bit, we may get a few showers and storms. It looks like more and more like Sunday, Monday rather than Tuesday. So in the meantime, Blackberry winter will give us two cold nights around here. Then the strong warm front lifts northward and unfortunately a few scattered showers and storms late in the weekend, early next week. And then the hot, humid weather moves in, followed by our next severe threat by next Saturday, not this Saturday, the next Saturday. Tonight, upper 30s, though, Rensselaer to Wittemac, 40 Lafayette, 40 Frankfurt. I'm really not concerned about frost. Uh, it looked like we might get a little bit last night. But it looks like now it just looks too windy. We're going to have too much wind blowing to prevent uh, to really cause much frost formation. So no need to worry about that. Tomorrow will be in the 60s area wide, about 65 to 70. It'll be a mostly sunny day. Not bad. Even Saturday, despite partly mostly cloudy skies, 65 to 70. Clouds clear out tonight. We turn clear. This is early tomorrow morning. Notice during the day, this is 153 in the afternoon, only a cloud or two. It's going to be a mostly sunny day. There's 430 tomorrow evening. Tomorrow night, a few high thin cirrus clouds come in as we drop into the low 40s. And for Saturday, I think it's going to be dry, but it will be a partly to mostly cloudy day as the warm front starts to lift northward. And a few of these showers and thunder showers will affect us once we get into Sunday. And then it gets hot. First widespread 90s of the season next week before the severe weather threat comes in by next Saturday. Seven day forecast, a few scattered showers and storms Sunday, Monday. But then as the warm front lifts northward, check out the numbers. We'll be around 90 by next Thursday. So from 40 tonight to 90 by what, next week. Wow, <laughs> just a it. quick snap of cold. Just Yeah, just really brief. That's the good news. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Chad, thank you. Okay. Just ahead.